The school turned into an old castle? A talking cat? Are you hallucinating from an overdose? I won't put up with you if you're simply joking around. I'm going to have you continue the story. The one who received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves was an Olympic medalist. An alumnus from Shujin Academy. The PE teacher Suguru Kamoshida. It all came out in his confession. He was guilty of everything. The abuse, the... violations. But there should have been no connection between the two of you since you had just transferred. Why did you target him? That's unacceptable! Try and recall it once again. Being over half a day late on your first day, can you explain yourself? How could you have been lost for this long? It's almost lunchtime. Well, it's probably true that you're not used to the area yet, but you're still way too late. Will you pull yourself together? You were given fair warning yesterday. More importantly, I heard that you were caught along with that Sakamoto kun. <sighs> Don't get involved with him, okay? He's nothing but trouble. He wasn't like that when he was devoting his time to track and field, though. Anyway, break's almost over. Classes will end after fifth period today because of the subway accident. I'll have you introduce yourself when class resumes. Follow me. By the way, when you introduce yourself... Be serious about it, even if you're lying to the class, okay? Do not say anything unnecessary. You think that's him? Huh? The one in the rumors? Being super late on his first day? He really is insane. He looks normal, though. But he might slug us if we look him in the eye. Settle down. Well, I'd like to introduce a transfer student. Today we had him attend from the afternoon on since he wasn't feeling well. All right, please say something to the class. He seems quiet, but I bet when he loses it... I mean, he was arrested for assault, right? Uh, so... Your seat will be... Hmm... Over there, the one that's open. Sorry, but can the people nearby please share your textbooks with him for today? Ugh, this sucks. <sighs> Lies. <sighs> Did you catch that? Mm -hmm. Do those two know each other? Ew, does that mean he hit on her before transferring here? That means she's cheating on him with Mr. Kamoshida. Then again, this is Takamaki-san we're talking about. For real, that side of the room is totally awful. Oh right, the volleyball rallies in two days. Everyone's just changed classes, so make sure you use that time to get to know each other. Well then, let's get class started. Who's on duty today? Everyone, please rise. Hmm? What's wrong? Are you sure you're okay? Also, it seems like people are already talking about you, but I'm not the one who told them. I can't even catch a break. Why do I have to deal with this? You should head straight home without stopping by anywhere. Sakura-san sounded pretty angry. 
Oh, and about Sakamoto kun, don't get involved. Speak of the devil. What do you want? I heard the police caught you cutting classes today. <sighs> it was nothing. And you haven't dyed your hair back to black either. Sorry about that. I'll be waiting on the rooftop. <sighs> See? That's why I don't want you getting involved. Understood? Why did you allow a student like him to transfer here? He's already started associating with Sakamoto. A student with a criminal record and the culprit of an assault case? At this rate, it'd be pointless how much I contribute to the school. Now, don't be like that. This school counts on you, Kamoshiro-kun. You are our star. Still, a steady build-up is necessary behind such brilliance as well. Your troubles never seem to end, do they, Principal Kobayakawa? All right, I understand. I'll continue to do my best to answer your expectations of me. Sorry for calling you up here like this. I bet Kawakami already told you stuff like, don't get involved with him, huh? <laughs> We're pretty much in the same boat. I heard you got a criminal record. Everyone's talking about it. No wonder you were so gutsy. What was all that that happened? You know, how we almost got killed at a castle. It wasn't a dream, right? You remember it too, yeah? Well, just because we both remember it doesn't mean much, though. I mean, even if it was a dream, you saved me from Kamoshida. So yeah, uh, thanks. That man, that Kamoshida we saw there. You probably don't know about it. There are some rumors about him. Yeah, the ripped mop head. That asshole who was all full of himself at the castle. No one says anything against him because he's some medalist who took the volleyball team to nationals. The way Kamashita was king of that castle felt crazy real because of that. I wonder if we can go back to that castle again. Ah, forget it. it must have all been a dream. It has to be. Sorry to drag you out here like this. That's all I had to say. You know, we might be pretty similar. I feel like we're gonna get along just fine as troublemakers. I'm Ryuji Sakamoto. I'll come talk if I see you around. Don't ignore me, all right? See ya. call from the school. I hear you ditched half a day on your first day of school. Just when I was thinking you had it together this morning. Look, just behave yourself. One wrong step and your life is over. You do know what probation means, right? Good. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I just closed up shop. I'll head over in half an hour, as promised. What are you standing around for? Get upstairs and go to bed already. No, it's a guy. I just hired a part-timer. Don't forget to lock the door and turn all the lights off, okay? Yep, I I'm leaving now. I told you, he's a part-timer.
About time you've come to. On your feet, inmate. Our master wishes to speak with you. It's for your own sake that you take his words to heart. First off, let us celebrate our reunion. Oh, you've awakened to your powers, and special ones at that. Your rehabilitation can finally begin. There is no need to understand it all for the time being. You will be training the power of Persona, which you have awakened to. Personas are, in other words, a mask, an armor of the heart when confronting worldly matters. I have high expectations for you. I have high expectations for you. You have no choice but to hone your strength. It's not because we're forcing you, but because this is your fate. Neglect it and you will die. By the by, have you come to appreciate the Metaverse Navigator? Using it will allow you to come and go between reality and palaces. I bestowed it to you as a means to train you as a thief. The Metaverse Navigator is a gift from our master. You better take care in using it, inmate. Devote yourself to your training so that you may become a fine thief. It must be disheartening to make use of the Metaverse Navigator alone. Should there be others who would prove beneficial to you, I will grant it to them as well. This is all for you to grow as a most excellent thief. <laughs> it's time. Go back and enjoy whatever rest you might have. Seriously? Uh, what's going on? Look, isn't that her? You mean that one with the red ribbon? Uh, I guess so. She's so thin. It's not fair. I've got my hair in a ponytail, too. Okay, and what's that got to do with being thin? Please, take my seat. My station's coming up. Are you sure? Oh, then. Oh, wow, what speed. I mean... Excuse me, that seat was for this lady. Oh. It's all right. I can understand his position as well. I'm sorry I couldn't be any help. It's all right, dearie. Don't you worry. Please allow me to carry your luggage at least. Thank you. Ain't it heavy, though? Not at all. I train plenty. Pardon me. Thank you so much for earlier. For speaking up when I offered my seat on the train. You're a second year at Shujin Academy, correct? I'm a first year there myself. Thinking you totally slipped my mind back on the train, and I didn't want to be rude to my senpai. Please excuse me. Class is starting. What's the answer? The 
This is it. <laughs> Correct. Hey there, Takamaki. Things have been pretty dangerous lately with all those accidents. Sorry, I have a photo shoot today. It's for the special summer issue, so I can't afford to miss it. Hey now, being a model's fine and dandy, but don't work your pretty little self to the bone. You mentioned you weren't feeling well, right? Something about appendicitis? Yes, I keep planning to go to the hospital, but I've been too busy. Sorry to worry you. You must be lonely, too. I feel bad for keeping your best friend at practice so often. Oh, and be careful around that transfer student. He's got a criminal record, after all. If something were to happen to you... Thank you. Please excuse me. Yo! Ambush? Come on, don't say shit like that. <sighs> Anyways, I want to talk about that castle from yesterday. I tried telling myself it was all just a dream, but <sighs> I couldn't do it. I can't act like nothing happened. <sighs> it's all connected to that bastard Kamoshida, after all. I want to find out what's up with that place, no matter what. And you know, <sighs> you're the only person I can rely on for this stuff, so... You in? Don't be like that. You've got to be wondering what the deal with that place was, too. I think we should just try and retrace our steps from yesterday. In the meantime, you're walking to the station, right? Let's go together. Let me know if you notice any other weird buildings on the way. If a huge castle like that really exists, I'm sure we'll find it in no time. When did they build something like that, though? We walked that way from here, right? Don't be like that. It'll be over quick. All right, this way. Let me know if you notice something. Huh? We're at school. There wasn't anything out of place along the way, right? I didn't see no castle either. Ah, we must have made a wrong turn somewhere. Let's try again. Come on, you gotta stick with me to the end. Let's go. For real? Is it smaller than we think it is? What do you think? I already did that. But I didn't see anything like it around here. Huh? Phone. Hey, that reminds me. Didn't you have a navigation app thingy on back then? I don't know if it was or not, but I heard stuff that sounded like one coming from your phone. You know, didn't it say stuff like returned to the real world or something like that? Let me see your phone for a bit. eyeball looking thing wait what what a weird app oh wait this is it I knew it it is a navigation app there's even your search history oh man I'm such a genius let's try using it why all we're doing is starting an app Kamoshida Shujin Academy pervert Castle, beginning navigation. There we go! 
And then we went in a certain direction and... Hey, what are you... Huh? What the hell? from yesterday. He made it back. That means what happened yesterday was for real, too. Yeah, that was close. That happened last time, too, huh? What's with that outfit? I, I ain't jealous. What's going on here? This makes no effing sense at all! Hey! Stop making a commotion! Uh, you? The shadows started acting up, so I came here wondering what it could be. <sighs> to think you guys would come back to the entrance when you barely managed to escape. What is this place? I is it the school? That's right. But it's a castle! This castle is the school, but only to this castle's ruler. The castle's ruler? I think you called him Kamoshida? It's how his distorted heart views the school. Kamoshida? Distorted? Explain it in a way that makes sense! I shouldn't have expected a moron to get it. What did you say? <laughs> what was that? It must be the slaves captive here. For real? <laughs> oh shit, it's for real! We saw other guys held captive here yesterday. I'm pretty sure they're from our school. Most likely on Kamoshida's orders. It's nothing out of the ordinary. It's like that every day here. What's more, you two escaped yesterday. He must have lost his temper quite a bit. That son of a bitch! Ryuji? This is bullshit! You hear me, Kamushita? Doing that isn't going to open it, you know. Still, it seems you have your reasons. Hey, Mona Mona! It's Morgana! Do you know where those voices are coming from? You want me to take you to them? Well, I guess I could guide you there. But only if he comes with us. It's settled, then. For real? Thanks, man. Alright, let's do this. This is our infiltration point. Ain't that where we escaped out of last time? That's right. Not barging in through the entrance is one of the basics of phantom thievery. How are we supposed to know about that stuff? I'll make sure to teach you as we go. Come on, follow me. So, uh, sorry for dragging you into all of this. But I just can't forgive that bastard Kamoshida doing whatever the hell he wants. Really, though, thanks for coming along. I owe you big time. Man, this place is as creepy as always. Mm hmm. Now make sure you do exactly as I say, all right? Follow me. Uh... Ah! Let's go. I had a feeling there would be guards here. 
Looks like we're going to have to start fighting our way forward. Uh, for real? Oh boy. I'll just teach you the basics of battle for now. You'd better not forget all of this. Always try to ambush enemies instead of rushing everywhere headlong. Attack from behind whenever you can. If you succeed, your opponent will be caught off guard, allowing us to jump in for a preemptive attack. So, we want to get the jump on him and make the first strike. Okay, got it. Uh, you know you're just going to be watching, right? You don't have a persona. But anyway, let's go. I'll reveal your true you. form. Now's our chance Persona! To go. You're mine. Hmm, <laughs> nice work, team. It's a step forward. All right. Why ain't anyone here? Damn it! They were here before! Where'd they go? Quiet down! Oh yeah, there were more of them further in too. They might have been transferred already. Oh crap, I can hear footsteps coming. Lots of them. It would be a problem if they discovered us now. Let's head into that room. We should be able to hide in there until they leave. The shadows probably won't come in here. How can you tell? There's a lack of distortion here, meaning the ruler's control over this area is weak. Is this a classroom? Now do you understand? This place is another reality that the ruler's heart projects. This is Kamoshida's reality? Ugh, shit makes no sense at all. One could say it's a world in which one's distorted desires have materialized. I call such a place a palace. A palace? This is happening because he thinks the school is his own castle. So, it became like this because he just thought of it like that? <laughs> that son of a bitch! You must really hate this Kamashita guy. Hate doesn't even cover how I feel. Everything is that asshole's fault! I don't know what happened between you two, but don't let your emotions get the better of you. His lackeys are everywhere inside. You're curious about your outfit, aren't you? Yeah, I'm curious as hell about it, too. That's also because of this world. More stuff that makes no sense. Anything distorts according to how a ruler pleases within his palace. A school can turn into a castle like this, after all. In order to prevent such distortions, one must hold a powerful will of rebellion. Your appearance is a manifestation of that. It's the image of rebellion that you hold within. I'm so fed up with all this! I'm more curious about you than his clothes! What the hell are you anyways? I'm a human. An honest-to-god human. No, you're obviously more like a cat. This is... well... it's because I lost my true form, I think. You think? But I do know how to regain my true form. The reason why I snuck in here was for a preliminary investigation of those means. Well, I ended up getting caught, though. Besides, I've been tortured by Kamoshida, too. I'm gonna make him pay for sure. What is this, a comic book? This is seriously crazy. If we're gonna keep going, we should hurry along. I'll be counting on your skills this time, too, rookie. Got it? Don't worry, I'm not gonna force it all on you. I thought it might help, so... I brought this just in case. It's a model gun, though, so it only makes sounds. That's a toy! But it looks totally real, so it'll at least fake him out. Oh, I brought some medicine, too. You know what they say, providing is pre-something. Huh? Huh? So you were planning this from the start. Well, fine. If you're ready to go, we'll resume our infiltration.
There are probably still sentries making their rounds out there. Let's use this time to hash out our current situation. Let's do it. Now then. duty here so what are we gonna do do we gotta fight it seems like it just don't let it notice you beforehand if it does the palace's security level will rise uh, and what do we do if that happens run away well the security level will go back down if we can beat more enemies without getting noticed that sounds uh, complicated fine I'll put together some info about the security level. This is crucial to successful palace infiltration. So make sure you actually read it, okay? I'll reveal I your true you. form. What is this? Now's our chance to strap! Yes. Yes. Persona! We finish it. <laughs> Persona! I'll cut you off! This is it! <laughs> one persona! Enemy remaining. There! This is the last one! Time for my persona! Yeah. Uh, this sucks! <laughs> mm. Nice work, team! Okay. Hey. Hey, have you seen anyone who looks like an intruder? No, nobody yet. Shoot. I had a feeling there would be a lot of enemies. It'd be impossible to dodge all of them. Then what do we do? Should we try and take him down like before? It's not that simple. We still have a long way to go, so we should be conserving energy. I... I see. Sorry. Damn it. I wish I could fight. I'd at least be able to help out a little bit. But all I got is this toy from earlier. <sighs> Such a loser. Huh? Do you mean that gun? Yeah, it looks real and all, but doesn't shoot anything. I see. Well, there is a way. Okay, we'll use that to take down the enemies. What? Were you listening to me? It don't even shoot pellets. Don't worry. I'm sure this will work. Attack away, frizzy hair. Dude, I, I keep saying it's not gonna fire anything. the gun with you, right? Point it at a shadow and fire. How about that? Surprised? There are plenty of instances where rapid fire is going to be more useful than swinging your knife. Of course, you can run out of ammo, but using it all up does more good than letting it collect dust. All right, I'll show you my weapon, too. For real? Listen to this.
replenished. Go on, dump it into the enemy. Pretty sure that's where we need to be going too. You guys gonna take it down again? I guess that's our only choice. But wait, this might be a good time. Okay, I've decided. I'm gonna teach you two a special way to fight enemies. Something like that. Let's go. Listen, there's a distinct flow to battles. Let me show you. After all, seeing is... something. First, knock down all the enemies. Everything starts at that crucial step. Persona! There! Alright! Now rush on in for an all-out attack! Do it! That went really well. You're definitely fit for this. What was that super move thing you just did? I told you, it's called an all-out attack. If you manage to knock all the enemies down, you might be able to use it to beat them all at once. Yeah, that was over quick. It's a concentrated attack on defenseless enemies, after all. Now, as I mentioned before, I want you to be the head of our command. You can decide when we use this. Strike the enemy's weakness, knock them all down, then do an all-out attack. That's the ideal pattern. Yes! E yeah. Whoa! Damn it! This is bullshit! How many times do I have to tell you to keep your voice down? But this is beyond messed up! How do I open this? Stop it! Leave us alone! It's useless! 
Huh? If we stay obedient, we won't be executed like you guys. You're telling me you want to stay in a place like this? Wait a minute. Were you planning on taking these guys out of here? We can't just leave them here. How stupid can you be? What? These are only humans in Kamoshida's cognition. They aren't real humans that have entered from reality. They're different from you two. Cognition? It means there's no point in saving them. They're different from the real ones in the real world. You could say that these are extremely similar looking dolls. Hell? Why is it gonna be so complicated? So the school's a castle and the students are slaves. It's so on point that it makes me laugh. This really is the inside of that asshole's head. Still, this is horrible. It must mean he treats them as slaves in the real world, too. In the real world, too? Wait, I know these guys. They're members of the volleyball team, the one Kamoshida coaches for. They must be physically abused every day. There's no way they'd be so beat up normally. Don't tell me. They're going through similar shit in reality? Most likely. I mean, this proves that Kamoshida thinks of them as slaves. So it might be for real. I heard that Kamoshida's using physical punishment. They're just rumors, but... If they're true, wouldn't this be something to report to the police? I'll use these guys as evidence. If it all goes well, we can take down that asshole Kamoshida. Huh? It's not working. We can use the navigation app, but the camera's a no-go? A navigation app? That's what we used to come here. What about yours? Whatever you do is fine, but we're gonna get caught if we stand around like this. We need to head back. Hang on a sec. There's no other way. I'll just memorize their faces before going home. Let's go! man <laughs> what are your thoughts Same mistake again. You're hopeless. The school ain't your castle. I've memorized their faces real good. You're going down. It seems it's true when they say barking dogs seldom bite. How far the star runner of the track team has fallen. What the hell are you getting at? I speak of the track trader who acted in violence, ending his teammates' dreams. Oh, I can only imagine the pain of the others who were dragged under with your selfish act. <laughs> what a surprise. So you're accompanying him without knowing anything at all. He betrayed his teammates and crushed their hopes. Yet he still carries on as carefree as ever. <laughs> That's not true! What a tragedy. You blindly trusted this fool, and he's led you right to your death. Hurry up and dispose of them. I can't stand their stench. God damn it. Ryuji, move! Oh, 
We're surrounded. I'll kill you. I'll kill you because King Kamashita told us. I'll kill because that's what he wants. This will hurt. <laughs> There's more of them? This is bad. <laughs> Failure! That can't be. I bet you simply came here on a whim and ended up like this, isn't that right? No! What a worthless piece of trash, getting emotional so quickly. How dare you raise your hand at me? Though it was only temporary, have you forgotten my kindness in supervising track practice? It wasn't no practice, it was physical abuse! You just didn't like our team! It was nothing but an eyesore. The only one who needs to achieve results is me. That coach who got fired was hopeless too. Had he not opposed me with a sound argument, I would have settled it with only breaking his star's leg. What? Do you need me to deal with your other leg too? <laughs> the school will call it self-defense anyway. Damn it. Am I gonna lose again? Not only can I not run anymore, the track team is gone too because of this asshole. So that's why. Once these two are dealt with, you're next. <laughs> Real G! You're right. Everything that was important to me was taken by him. I'll never get him back. Stay there and watch. Look on as these hopeless scum die for nothing because they sided with trash like you. No, that's what you are. All you think about is using people. You're the real scumbag, Kamoshida. What are you doing? Silence him! Stop looking down on me with that stupid smile on your face! You made me wait quite a while. You seek power, correct? Then let us form a pact. Since your name has been disgraced already, why not hoist the flag and make havoc? The other you who exists within desires it thus. I am thou. There is no turning back. The skull of rebellion is your flag henceforth! <laughs> what can you do? Cower in fear and watch! <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Persona? This effin' rocks! Now that I got this power, it's time for payback! Yo, I'm ready! Bring it! Don't mock me, you brat! Blast him away, Captain Kid! Troublemakers that bother King Kamoshida with trifle matters. Kamoshida's cognition ain't changing, right? And I'll act like the troublemaker I am. Let's do this, Captain Kid. <laughs> Let's go, Captain. Yeah. One more persona, Captain Kid. Yeah. 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 You're mine. Time for my persona. Take this. Payback. 
Subject of the glorious King Kamoshida. So why have I lost? It just proves that Kamoshida ain't anything special. She had the potential too. Even if you apologize now, I ain't forgiven you. I told you that this is my castle. It seems you still don't understand. What? Takamaki? Oh! oh what a meowless and beautiful girl! What's going on? that you mention it, but why is she even here? Hey! Let go of her, you perv! How many times must I tell you until you understand? This is my castle, a place in which I can do whatever I want. Everyone wishes to be loved by me. That is, everyone besides slow-witted thieves like you. Takamaki! Say something! Calm down, Ryuji. It seems that girl isn't the real one. She's the same as those slaves. A being made from Kamashita's cognition of her. Are you jealous? Well, I'm not surprised. Women aren't drawn to problematic punks like you. <laughs> Damn it! Clean them up this instant! We're outnumbered. Let's scram before we get surrounded. We're not gonna do anything and just run? Thank God you've got a level head. <sighs> Fine. We'll expose what you really are no matter what. You better be ready for us. <laughs> I was beginning to get bored of torturing the ones here. Come at me whenever you want, if you don't care about your life. <laughs> Ignore him. Let's go! <sighs> Anyways... I don't remember changing into this. Uh... Should I be happy about that? Then again... <laughs> it ain't as bad as yours. Did you find them? Quiet! No! Search that way! So what's going on? I'm completely lost, man. I told you before, when a Persona user opposes a palace's ruler and becomes a threat to them, this happens. It's to prevent you from being affected by distortions. Is this... a skull? Your appearance reflects your inner self. It's the rebel that slumbers within. Not that you'll get it. Nope. Then stop asking questions and accept what you see for what it is. <sighs> Easy for you to say. <sighs> Wait, we're in deep shit! I said to be quiet! We might have gotten away here, but we're still screwed with Kamoshida at the real school. That's quite sharp of you. For being an idiot. Relax. The Kamashita in reality can't possibly know about what happens here. A shadow is the true self that is suppressed. A side of one's personality they don't want to see. So, we're okay? Did the Kamashita in reality remember about the execution? There you have it. Alright. Now that we know that, all we gotta do is... Wait. I guided you as promised. It's your turn to cooperate with me. That's why I was super nice about teaching you idiots everything. Huh? Cooperate? 
Don't you remember? I originally came here for an investigation. I need to erase the distortion from my body and regain my real form. That's why we must delve deep into Mementos and... Whoa, hold up. What are you going on and on about? We never said anything about helping you out. Huh? Don't tell me. Are you not going to repay the hospitality I showed you? Especially you! You're going to up and leave, even though you're already part of my master plan? What? The nerve! Is it because I'm not human? Because I'm like a cat? Is that why you're making a fool of me? We're busy. Thanks for everything, cat. You've got guts being a cat and all. See you around. Hey! What the hell? Oh, seriously? Why are you wrapping this up like everything's all hunky-dory? Oh, hell no! Get back here! You have returned to the real world. Welcome back. <sighs> Thank God. We're back. Yeah, I dragged you around a lot, huh? Ugh, sorry, man. <sighs> I'm dead tired. How are you holding up? That's impressive. I'm exhausted even though I used to do track. But damn, if what we saw was for real, oh, this is gonna get good. I totally remember the faces of the guys Kamoshida was treating like slaves. Once we make him fess up to any physical abuse, Kamoshida will be done. So, want to help me look for those guys or any witnesses? Now that's what I'm talking about! Hey, so, if you're thinking of laying low because you got a record, I don't think that'll help. Everyone already knows. They totally got you pegged as a criminal. Kamoshida opened his damn mouth. No one else besides a teacher could have leaked it that fast. It doesn't matter if it's a student or a club. That asshole just wrecks things he doesn't agree with. Just like he did with me. No one will take anything I say seriously. Still, those rumors about him getting physical might be real. And after seeing Kamoshida's distorted heart thing in person, there's no way I can just sit back. I'm counting on you. Don't worry, I'm hyped about this too. Acting as a phantom thief would have been more efficient alone. You could have gone about it that way. However, you did not. There are merits to having associates. That's what you decided. Am I wrong? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the chariot persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Oh, right. I haven't eaten anything since lunch. It'd be weird splitting off now. So why don't we grab a bite somewhere? Just follow me. I mean, I totally gotta hear about your past. What? The hell, man? How much shittier can that asshole get? Oh, my bad. So, you left your hometown and you're living here now, huh? Huh, we might be more alike than I originally thought. You're the first guy that made me think that. 
I guess it's how we're treated like a pain in the ass by the people around us. Like we don't belong. I did something stupid at school before, too. The place you're living now is in Yongen, right? It's rush hour on the subways. I suggest you kill some time before heading home. What the hell, man? You barely touched your food. Just let me do it. I gotta thank you for helping me. Anyways, I got your back like you got mine from tomorrow on. As long as we do something about Kamoshida, I'm sure we'll both feel better about being at school. Oh, yeah! Tell me your number. Oh, and chat ID, too. Just you wait, Kamoshida. We're gonna start right away tomorrow. First, let's hit up those guys that were kept as slaves. The volleyball rally's tomorrow, huh? <laughs> Shit's recommended by Kamoshida. Makes me want to gag. But, thanks to that, we got no classes in the afternoon, and we can walk around unnoticed. Well, I guess we can work out the details tomorrow. Come on, you gotta eat more! There's tons of ginger here! So, about this plan to take down Kamoshida. Ah, right. been sleeping well lately. Whenever I close my eyes, I keep thinking about too many things. Shio. Nationals are coming up soon, so I keep thinking, should someone like me really be on the starting lineup? Don't worry. Just be confident in yourself. Your skills have been recognized. It's all because you work harder than anyone else. <laughs> Yeah. Volleyball's all I have, after all. More importantly, was that injury okay? It looked really swollen. N no, it's nothing. It's normal. Especially since a meet's coming up. <sighs> Sorry to interrupt, Suzui. Um, Mr. Kamashita told me to get you. Huh? What does he want? He didn't say. On, I... <sighs> It'll be fine. I bet it's a meeting about the starting lineup or something. <sighs> yeah. Well, I better go. Yep. Good luck! Hang in there, Shiho. You're home. I take it you actually went to school today? I guess you learned your lesson after what happened yesterday. As long as you're not getting into trouble, it's fine by me. I don't know what you've been up to, but trust me, you'll be gone if you start causing problems. In case you forgot, your life is not a free one right now. Sheesh, are you even listening to me? Just stay away from bad influences, okay? Hey! I'm gonna head home for the night. I'll lock the store up. Don't go wandering out. Let's do it.
Welcome to the Velvet Room. I thought about resuming our previous conversation tonight. That is why I have summoned you. What are your thoughts? Are you becoming accustomed to this place? Ah, glad to hear it. It seems you have nerves of steel. The goal of your rehabilitation is to thwart the fated ruin. However, such a feat cannot be done by you alone. Today, you entered a partnership with someone who awoke to the same power, did you not? Involving yourself with others is an important foundation for your recovery. You've done well. That said, I am not advising the formation of superficial relationships. It must not be a frivolity, but a ring of those who would, by morals or faith, lend you their strength. In other words, they are bonds with those who have been robbed of their places to belong. The expansion of said ring will, in return, help you mature as well. Personas are the strength of heart. The stronger the bonds that surround you, the more power your personas will gain. There are countless people in the city who have talents that a weakling like you doesn't. You better rack that noggin of yours and get them on your side. We'll change that into power. Indeed, you should be prepared to use even myself, or your ambitions will not come to fruition. <laughs> we have a deal then. shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the full persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Well, you will understand it all in due time. Continue devoting yourself to your rehabilitation. Now this conversation's over. Get lost, inmate. How annoying. We've barely started high school and already they're making us play at a volleyball rally? And why are they pitting us against the teacher team? Kamoshida's gonna crush us. We get to see his technique live and in person, though. We should totally get spiked on. Yeah, okay. You're gonna get your face smashed in. Just look at how banged up the volleyball team is. What the hell goes on during their practices? Okay, quiet down. Changed a bit. 
Hmm? <sighs> Pretty boring. Right? Sorry. Hey, are you all right? Someone, take him to the nurse's office. You get that saw. He'll pay soon enough. All right, let's resume the match. That asshole's acting like a king over here, too. Get to know each other better, my ass. It's just a one-man show for him to stroke his ego. Oh, oh, and how he acted like he was worried about Mishima. Oh, what an abusive D-bag. <sighs> well, anyways, now is our chance to go look for the guys we saw were slaves yesterday. Let's look for the faces we saw at the castle. All the members of the team should be here today. I'll be sure to find someone to spill about Kamoshida's physical abuse. Just you wait, asshole. Oh, you're coming with me, too. The first one that popped out was a guy from Class D, so let's start from there. That's your class. Hopefully you can get him to talk without any issues. People have been avoiding me lately, so... Oh, but you're kind of in the same boat, huh? What? Are you skipping out on the volleyball rally? I guess I expect it from you, Transfer. Hey, that's the guy who was over at that castle. You too, Sakamoto? What do you guys want? What? Wh what, are you, what are you saying? No, of course not. It's Kamoshida, ain't it? Look, I ain't gonna tell anyone you squealed. Just tell us about how Kamoshida's abusing you. I... I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not. You guys are talking complete nonsense. Don't try and hide it. We already know. Y you know? You have proof. Well, uh, I... This is ridiculous. Please, leave me alone. You're really bothering me. <sighs> All right, that's enough. Come on, let's go. That injury ain't normal, and he still won't fess up. Crap. If we keep going at this pace, the ball game's gonna end. Well, that's nice of you, but I'm down for just splitting up, though. I'll check the practice building for people before clubs start. You handle the classroom building. There's a third year on the volleyball team that I remember. I think he's in... 3C? He was getting beat pretty badly at the castle. He might have some injuries here, too. Anyways, I'll hit you up if I find anything. See ya. Who cares? Yeah. 
Where'd you hear that? I can't do it. to you for a sec it'll be quick anyway what's with you like how you were late the other day was a lie and all there's that weird rumor about you too what do you want with him right back at you you're not even in our class we just happen to get to know each other what are you planning on doing to mr. Kamoshida huh I see. I get ya. You're all buddy-buddy with Kamoshida after all. This has nothing to do with you, Sakamoto. If you found out what he's been doing behind your back, you'd dump him right away. Behind my back? What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> you wouldn't get it. Anyway, people are already talking about you two. I don't know what you're trying to pull, but no one's gonna help you. I'm warning you, just in case. That's all. Why she gotta be so aggressive all the time? Ah, we just went to the same middle school. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. I had no luck on my end. What about you? Did anything like someone's name turn up? Huh? Special coaching, huh? True. I always see the guy covered in bruises. Let's go talk to him before he leaves then. Hey, got a second? Sakamoto? And you too. Come on, we just want to chat. Kamoshida's been coaching you, huh? You sure it's not just physical abuse? Certainly not. What are you talking all polite for? Anyways, we saw him spike you today, right in the face. That was just because I'm not good at the sport. Still, that doesn't explain all the other bruises you've got. They're from practice. Is he forcing you to keep quiet? That's... What's going on here? Mishima, isn't it time for practice? I'm not feeling well today. What? Maybe you're better off quitting then. You're never going to improve that crappy form unless you show up to practice. Didn't you hear? He ain't feeling well. Well, Mishima, are you coming to practice or not? I'll go. As for you, any more trouble and you'll be gone from this school for sure. Bastard. Same goes for you. Didn't the principal tell you to keep in line? <laughs> Just don't get in the way of my practice. All these unsettling rumors are making the students anxious after all. That's your own goddamn fault. <laughs> this won't get us anywhere. Let's go, Mishima. Shujin Academy is a place where those with aspirations come to learn. Unworthy students like yourselves don't have any right to be here. Get with the program. Yes, sir. That asshole. He's gonna pay for this. There's no point. Huh? Proving that he's physically abusing us is meaningless. Everybody knows. The principal, our parents. They all know, and they all keep quiet about it. This has gotta be a joke. A pain. You don't understand what I'm going through. Shouldn't you of all people know that nothing's going to help? <sighs> Damn it. I'll try one more time to persuade the other guys. That's all I can do.
Shouldn't you be heading to volleyball? Uh-huh. That bruise above your eye. Is that from practice, too? Y yeah Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. Volleyball's the only thing I can do right. Shouldn't you take that? It's probably just my part-time job, I think. I should get going. Shiho. Um, are you sure you're okay? Uh-huh. Yes. T today won't work. I'm... I'm not feeling so good. Sorry. Bye. Hey, wasn't that Takamaki? Rumor has it she's dating Kamoshida. Seriously? I heard people saw them in his car together. You know, she seems pretty easy, huh? You think I'd have a chance to? Come on, dude. You can't go after Kamoshida's bitch. What? Uh, oh, I'm in the way, aren't I? Sorry. Huh? Um, well... Hmm, you don't look familiar. Could you be that transfer student from Class D? Um, this might not be any of my business, but don't let the rumors get to you, okay? I'm glad to hear that. My best friend is often misunderstood, too. All because of her looks. Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to drag on like that. Anyway, I have to go to practice. I'll see you around. Damn it! What the hell? <sighs> is that what it looks like? All of them kept saying the same shit Mishima was talking about. Kamoshida had to have told them something. At this rate, looks like we'll have to go to him directly. I know. But seriously, isn't there something we can do? No way I'm gonna give in like this. Can you think of anything? So you wanna tell him about the castle? They'd never believe us. Any other ideas? Oh, that'd be fine if we could do it without getting caught, but if we did, we'd be seriously done for. You got any other ideas? What do we do? The king? You mean that other world's Kamoshida? I didn't think of that, but is there any meaning to. I finally found you! You say something? Don't think you can get away with not paying me back for helping you. That voice... Is that you, Morgana? How dare you up and leaving me the other day! The cat's talking? I am NOT a cat! This is just what happened when I came to this world. It was a lot of trouble finding you two. Wait, you came to our world? <gasps> Does that mean you've got a phone? You don't need one when you're at my level. I did get pretty lost making my escape, though. That aside, why can you talk? You're a cat! How should I know? You hearing this, too? This is no time to be joking around! You guys are having a rough time of this, hmm? I heard you mention something about witnesses. Oh, shut up! You know, I could tell you a thing or two about what to do about Kamashita. You were pretty close just a moment ago. God, that condescending attitude. This thing's gotta be Morgana. You were still doubting me? God, quiet down! Uh, we really have to be looking for a cat in a busy time like this? I just heard a meow somewhere near here. Didn't you hear it? <sighs> Make sure you check every nook and cranny around. Meow? 
Does that mean only us two can understand what you're saying? Looks like it. What the hell's going on? Anyways, what you were talking about earlier, is it for real? You're quite the skeptic for being an idiot. Hey, tell us more. Then again, this probably ain't the best place. Here, stick it in your bag for now. It should be just small enough to fit. Hey, how dare you treat me like... Don't be so rough with me. Enough of that. You said you know how we can do something about Kamoshida, right? It has to do with what this guy was talking about earlier. You'll need to attack his castle. What do you mean? That castle is how Kamoshida views this school. He doesn't realize what happens in there, but it's deeply connected to the depths of his heart. Thus, if the castle disappears, it would naturally impact the real Kamoshida. What had happened? A palace is a manifestation of a person's distorted desires. So, if that castle were no more... Precisely. You sure pick up things fast. For real? He he's gonna turn good? But is that really getting back at him? Erasing a palace essentially means forcing the owner to have a change of heart. However, even though their warped wants disappear, the crimes they committed remain. Kamoshida will become unable to bear the weight of those crimes, and he'll confess them himself. You for real? That's possible? And since the palace will no longer exist, he'll forget what we did there as well. Not only will we be able to bring Kamoshida down, but there won't even be a trace of our involvement. That's amazing! You are one incredible cat! True. Except for the cat part. So, how do we get rid of the palace? By stealing the treasure held within. Stealing? I'll tell you more once you agree to go ahead with this. It's my most valuable secret plan, after all. If you want to help me out, I'll gladly teach you. What's your call? Our luck's running dry looking for witnesses. Guess we have no choice but to go along. Good. Oh, right. There's one more thing I should tell you. If we erase a palace, there is no doubt that the person's distorted desires will be erased as well. But desires are what we all need in order to survive. The will to sleep, eat, fall in love. Those sorts of things. What are you getting at? If all of those yearnings were to vanish, they'd be no different than someone who is shut down entirely. They may even die if they're not given proper care. So... They might die! Will you listen to everything I have to say first? Would their death be our fault? Aren't you determined enough to face those kinds of risks? Hey, what do you think? For real? Sheesh. I come all this way and this is what I get. It's not like anyone will ever find out. That's not the point! If we just go around secretly doing whatever we want, we'd be no better than that effing Kamoshida. <sighs> Isn't this your only option? I'll come back later. Make sure you've made your decision by then. Man, we're getting all worked up for nothing. Damn it. I'll try and see if I can figure out another way. Come on, let's get out of here.
please give it a rest? I told you, I'm not feeling up to it. Wait, what? That's not what you promised. And you call yourself a teacher? This has nothing to do with Shiho. Uh, <sighs> Shiho's starting position. Wait, were you listening? <sighs> Haven't you heard of privacy? <sighs> no, I was out of line. Sorry. So, how much did you hear? Shiho. It's nothing at all. Nothing. about me <laughs> what the heck I really don't get you I don't have anything to talk about with you it was just an argument thank you very much you've heard the rumors haven't you about Mr. Kamoshida. Everyone says we're getting it on. But that's so not true. <clears throat> that was him on the other line. I avoided giving him my number for the longest time. He told me to go to his place after this. <sighs> you know what it means. If I turn him down, he said he'd take my friend off as a regular on the team. I've been telling myself this is all for Shiho's sake. I can't take it anymore. Uh, uh. I've had enough of this. I hate him. But still, Shiho's my best friend. She's all I have left in that sorry excuse of a school. Tell me, what should I do? Sorry, I shouldn't have asked. It's not your problem. <sighs> what? What am I saying? I barely even talked to you before. Huh? So weird. Usually everyone just ignores me. Are you really a bad person? I've heard people talking about you, but I just don't see it. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a joke? Kinda had a feeling they were all just exaggerations. You seemed lonely. Almost like you didn't belong anywhere. You're the same in that regard. Maybe that's why it was so easy for me to talk to you. Is there really no way for me to help Shio? I wish he'd just change his mind. Like, forget about me and everything. As if something like that would ever happen. <laughs> I wasn't asking for a serious response. But, I do feel a bit better now. I'm gonna head home. Don't tell anyone what I told you, okay? I'll try and think of a way to persuade Kamoshida. Well... Thanks.
Sui. Are you leaving? What is it? Mr. Kamashita's asking for you. He's in the PE faculty office. What did he say? I don't know. Well, I have to go. been is that supposed to be an excuse how directionally challenged can you be by the way you haven't been hanging around any bad influences have you huh. well, they've got to be pretty strange to want to spend time with you just make sure you're careful who your friends are if you don't want them ruining your life Ooh, look at the time Seriously, think about how I feel having to stay up here waiting for you. Hey, I'm leaving. In the future, try not to come back so damn late. Understood? So I assume all of you know about the separation of powers. There are three branches in our government. The National Diet is legislative, the Cabinet is executive, and the Supreme Court is judiciary. This division of power provides checks and balances, which ensures no one branch becomes unstoppable. Have you made up your mind? No matter how much thinking you do, there's only one option. You'd be better off just listening to me. Did I just hear a cat just now? <coughs> Meow! Hmm. Could that rumored cat be somewhere nearby? Settle down! We're in the middle of an important lecture. If you only knew, I'm reading this too. What's that? Enough! This is a classroom! Wait. She's going to jump! Suzui? Shiho? For real? Come Who on, let's go. It? Hey! Stay in your seats! Do not step foot outside of this room! No way! Huh? Is she gonna commit suicide? It's Suzui! Shio Suzui! Huh? Suzui, hey, son! Let's go look! Your seats. No. Why? She <laughs> hey, what's going on? We should head to the courtyard too. Hey, 
let me through. What the hell? with these people we need someone to go with her are there any teachers around uh, I'm not in charge of her class though well, we should leave this to principal Kobayakawa I'll go please hurry Shio. Why? Mon, I'm sorry I, I can't take this Anymore. Shio? Huh? Kamoshida? Huh? No! Shio! Volleyball team. Return to your classrooms at once! <gasps> that guy... Hey, wasn't Mishima acting weird? We're gonna make him talk this time. Teachers, return to your classrooms for the time being. Please do not let any students go home yet. Uh, that hurts! Why'd you run like that, huh? I didn't run. She jumped and tried to kill herself! <laughs> Leave me alone. He's right. We ain't trying to get you busted. We won't say you talked either. Suzui. She was called out by Mr. Kamashita. Wait, what? I was called by him a number of times too. To the teacher's room. It wasn't just me or Suzui either. He'd nominate someone when he was in a bad mood and hit them. So the physical punishment thing was for real. Yesterday, he called Suzui out of the blue. She didn't make any mistakes or anything. Mr. Kamashita seemed really irritated that day. So it must have been worse than usual. He didn't. That son of a bitch! Uh. I bet Sakamoto's going to find Mr. Kamashita. Mr. Kamashita's probably in the PE faculty office on the second floor. He went into the PE faculty office. Let's hurry. We have to go after him. Huh? You bastard! The hell did you do to that girl? What are you talking about? Don't! Play dumb with me! That is enough! What you did wasn't coaching. What did you say? You... You ordered me to call Suzui here. I can only imagine what you did to her. You're going on and on about things you have no proof of. Basically, you're simply making these claims because you can't be a regular on the team, right? That's not what this is about! Even if it is exactly as you imagine it to be, hypothetically speaking, what can you do? We just received a call from a hospital. Suzui's in a coma, and her chances of recovery are slim. How would someone like that make a statement? There's no chance of her getting better, I hear. Oh, the poor girl. No. I can't be. You goddamn! This again? Does this mean we need to have yet another case of self-defense? You shut your mouth, you son of a bitch! 
Why are you stopping me? But still! Oh, you're stopping him? What a surprise. There's no need to hold back. Why not attack me? Oh, you can. <laughs> but of course you can. Everyone present right now will be expelled. I'm reporting all of you at the next board meeting. What? You can't make a decision like that! Who would seriously consider what scum like you say? You threaten me too, Mishima. So you're just as responsible. Huh? To think you didn't know why I kept someone as talentless as you on the team. You act like you're a victim. But you leaked his criminal records, didn't you? It's all over the internet, correct? How terrible. Mishima? He told me to do it. I had no choice. <laughs> now, are we finished here? You're all expelled. You're done for. Your futures are mine to take. Now get out of my sight. I can't believe this asshole's getting away with this! Huh? Oh, right! We have that! Huh? Have you lost your minds? You worthless kids aren't making any sense. But sure, go ahead and try. After all, you'll have plenty of time to kill until expulsion. We can't waste any time. We gotta hurry up and go to that world and beat the shit out of that asshole. We're not beating him up. We're simply stealing his distorted desires. Can I assume that you've made up your minds about this? About how he might suffer a mental shutdown? I have. Someone almost died because of him. I don't give a rat's ass what happens to him anymore. And you? Then it's settled. By the way, is getting rid of a palace hard? You've tried it before, right? When did I ever say that? Huh? What? Were you just pretending to know? Is it true that you're getting expelled? Everyone's talking about it. That asshole's at it again. So you came all this way to tell us that? You're going to deal with Kamoshida? Let me in on it too. I can't just sit back and do nothing after what happened to Shiho. This has nothing to do with you. Don't butt your head into this. But it does! Shiho's my... I said don't get in our way! <sighs> that was harsh. We can't take her somewhere like that. I hope she doesn't do anything too crazy. Women can be much bolder than men at times. We just gotta hurry up and deal with Kamoshida. Let's go already! The moment we cross over, we'll treat each other like phantom thieves. So I hope you're ready. Huh? Phantom thieves? Those who covertly sneak in and stylishly steal treasure. That is what we become. <laughs> that sounds kind of cool. So we just gotta say the school, Kamoshida's name, and castle. And then we end up in Bizarro World. How the hell's all this work? Someone make it? <laughs> That's kind of creepy, but uh, eh, seems useful enough. We'll show that effing Kamoshida. Let's go. They really are going to do something. They're. Doing something on their phone? A name... A school? Huh? All right, time to bust on through! What is this? T Takamaki? <gasps> that voice! Sakamoto? And are you? Wh why are you here? How should I know? What's going on? 
on! Hey, where are we? Isn't this the school? I see. Perhaps she was dragged in because of that app thing. If multiple people can enter with the person who uses it, it stands to reason it'll pull anyone nearby. For real? Wait, so this is related to Kamoshida? Anyways, you gotta leave! No! The shadows are going to find us if you make a scene. No way! It talked! Oh my god, it's a monster cat! Monster? You better explain what's going on! I won't leave until you do! <sighs> Looks like we gotta force her. But how are we supposed to do that? Just take her back to where we came in. That's how it worked last time, right? Oh, yeah! Can you lend me a hand? What are you... We'll explain after everything's over. Hey! And just where are you touching? Whoa, sorry, I didn't mean... That's not important! You guys, seriously? Ah! <sighs> we better be careful from now on when we use that app. You should have checked the tools you used. Why do I, the one who was just watching, know more about it than you two? Shut up. Ah, jeez. Takamaki found out right when we were starting off. We gotta deal with this fast. That girl's name is An Takamaki, right? Lady An. The shadows have noticed us. You better brace yourselves, got it? We're counting on you, Joker. Joker? Not a nickname? Don't refer to it in such a lame way. It's a code name. What kind of stupid phantom thief would use their real name? I'm not down for that. And there's no telling what kind of effect yelling our real names will have on the palace. It's just a precaution. So, uh, why is he Joker? Because he's our trump card when it comes to fighting strength. It's settled, then. Next up is you, Ryuji. You'll be... let's see... thug. Are you picking a fight with me? Yeah, I'll choose it myself! <laughs> when it comes to me, it's gotta be this mask. Honestly, I actually kinda like it. What if we named me after this? Fine. Why not Skull, then? Oh, that sounds awesome! <laughs> I'm Skull! What do we do about this one's code name? How about Mona? Well, if Joker thinks it's easier to call me that, then I'll go with it. All right, from here on out, we are Joker, Skull, and Mona. We need to be absolutely thorough about using those code names from now on. All right, time to go steal this treasure thing. Let's make a dash for it. Kamashida! Death to the intruders! Eh? Hey, look! Ain't that... Those intruders the other day were quite entertaining. However, I can't allow that trash to ransack my castle! Strike to the security, kill them on sight! I'll reward whoever brings me their heads. Praise be to King Kamashida! Death to the intruders! Hey, Mona, can't we just beat the crap out of him and call it a day? Look at all those soldiers, idiot. It'd be suicide. And I'm sure you don't want a repeat of last time. Besides, don't you want him to confess his sins? There's no point beating him up. We need to steal his materialized desires. The treasure. Fine. Uh, so where is it? It has to be somewhere in the depths of this castle. Let's infiltrate further in while he's out here.
Remember how I taught you hold-ups and all-out attacks? I'll teach you their practical use now. There's another use for hold-ups, besides simply defeating enemies. Shadows are beings born from people's hearts, so naturally they can talk, too. In other words, you can communicate with them. Get it? If you talk to them when they're cornered, they might offer money or items since they don't want to die. In fact, talking has a better chance of scoring something great, as opposed to just offing them. Well then, let's do the first step. Knock all the enemies down and do a hold-up. Oh, not down! That was incredible, Joker! Uh, for real? Well, something along those lines. Now let it be money or items. Just cough it up. Sorry. Oh, wait, what? Hmm. This isn't how I was planning this to go. Uh, if that's the case, I guess it's time for you to go to hell. Uh, for real? Sorry, but we're in a hurry. Just now. What happened? For real? shadow from earlier don't tell me did you take in the shadows appearance and powers as a persona persona let's go Multiple personas? With this power. Hey, Mona, what was that about? What did Joker do? He sealed the enemy's appearance and powers into his mask and made it his new persona. Is such a feat even possible? Even I've never seen anyone pull that off. Of course it is! Only one heart exists per person, so normally a person can only have one persona. Incredible! That ability will give us a huge advantage in battle. All right, try to do that even more if the opportunity arises. You better help out too, Skull. Hell yeah! We'll hold every last one of them up! <laughs> I like you even more now. I really do have something special after all. Your chest. Show me your true form. All right, the first move is on. Joker, go now. All right. Time for my dunk. Go. That was your Just skill. Stay there.
Your power is incredible, Joker. All right. Oh. All right. I'll reveal your true you. form. Now the Persona! Give it up. Yeah, fine. Give me a break. place from earlier what's up with this app just said the word Sakamoto said and I ended up princess huh princess ah! aren't there even more shadows here than before just getting this far has been a real pain in my ass it's all because you guys provoked Kamoshida you know Still, he seems to be awfully on guard. Anyways, how are we supposed to steal that treasure thing? Don't be so hasty. First, we'll need to secure an infiltration route. A what? A path to the treasure's location. But honestly, I think we'll need a little more manpower in order to accomplish this. At the very least, one more person would be nice. Hey, you say you don't have your memories and all, but somehow you still know about that kind of stuff? Do you think this thing's really got amnesia? At least you're a step above that moron. Don't call me a moron! You sure talk big, but what if it turns out you're just some stray cat in the end? That can't be. Still, why was a princess in such an odd place? I could have sworn we were pursuing the readings of an intruder. It doesn't matter now. We must take her back to King Kamashita. Who's this princess they're talking about? I should probably look into this. And yet another question goes unanswered. Stuff like the castle and that navigation app are mysterious, <laughs> but Morgana's got them both beat. Oh, crap, sorry. What was I again? Oh, yeah, uh, Skull. <laughs> this is bad. That was fast. Your friend, Lady On. She's been taken by shadows. Wait, what? We sent her home earlier. If Lady On does indeed have the app, it could be possible. Oh, no. Don't tell me it got put on hers just like mine. Damn it! We let her out for her own safety and she just came back in by herself. Damn it! Yes! Okay, let's go. Is this some kind of filming? Who is in charge here? Hurry! We have to save her! 
Now then. Yes! <laughs> What's all this about? Seriously, I'm gonna call the cops! So, this is the intruder. Kamoshida? Who's that? More importantly, what is this place? Why is the school turned into something like this? I can't believe you mistook my aunt for someone like her. <laughs> Are you afraid? What is that outfit? Have you lost your mind? I do as I please here. After all, this is my castle. The world of my desires. What the... Wait... Is this some red light district? What a lively slave. This isn't funny! Enough of the bullshit, Kamoshida! <laughs> The girls decided to tell me off. What do you think of that? Talking back is like totally unforgivable. In that case, she should be executed. <gasps> now then, how should I play with you? Shall I tear you into little pieces? Are you kidding me? This is effed up. Is that what he thinks of the girls on the volleyball team? Hey, that's... Takamaki! Just when I was about to start enjoying myself. What's the deal with this guy? You little... How many times are you gonna come back? I bet you just like those thieves. You came because you're pissed at me, huh? But, uh, ah, I forget that chick's name. But it's your fault she jumped, you know. Huh? You were so reluctant to throw yourself onto me that I had her take your place. You bastard! <gasps> no! Take one more step and I'll kill her on the spot. Damn it! Just sit back and enjoy the dismantlement show. No, don't! Maybe I'll start with her clothes. <laughs> You're such a perv! Hey, what are we gonna do? Takamaki! Is this... my punishment for what happened to Shio? That's more like it. You should have looked like this from the start. Shio... I'm so sorry. Huh? No. I don't want that. You're right. Letting this piece of shit toy with me. <laughs> what was I thinking? It's like I always say, slaves should just behave and... Shut up! I've had enough of this. You piss me off, you son of a bitch! My, it's taken far too long. Tell me, who is going to avenge her if you don't? Forgiving him was never the option. Such is the scream of the other you that dwells with me. I am thou, thou art I. And we can finally forge a contract. I hear you, Carmen. You're right. No more holding back. There you go. Nothing can be solved by restraining yourself. Understand? Then I'll gladly lend you my strength. You know what? I'm not some cheap girl you can toy with, you scumbag. 
bitch! You stole everything from Shiko. You destroyed her. Now it's your turn! I will rob you of everything! How dare you! Enough of your insolence! No, I've had enough of you! No one's gonna stop me now! Let's go, Carmen! How dare you deny King Kaboshida's love, you selfish lass! Pay for this insolence with your life! That dirtbag just sees women as sexual outlets! Don't make me laugh with that love bullshit! Come on, Carmen! Let's give him hell! Persona! Dance, Carmen! You did it! They've fallen flat! Get ready! That hit their weakness? Persona! Deco Lantern! Ravage Map! Nice, Joker! Right in their weak spot! Come here, man. And more importantly, how? Hey, is that how you speak to a woman? Are you all right, Lady On? Lady On? Wait, what is this thing? Is it alive? How can it talk? And where in the world are we? J just calm down. Everything's going to be okay. Don't worry. How am I supposed to calm down? Huh? Why am I dressed like this? When did I... <sighs> What's with this? How can you expect me to be calm? Well, I'm stumped. A search party will be coming for us soon. There's no time to explain. We don't have a choice. Let's retreat for now. We were just getting fired up and you had to go and get in the way. <sighs> Fine. Here. Give me your arm. You take the other side. Mm, thanks. Looks like we made it back. Hey, are you okay? Well, pretty much. Wait, I lied. I'm still confused about all of this. You may be safe now. But a lot sure did happen back there. At any rate, we stand out too much here. Let's relocate to a safer spot. Which one you want? Whichever's not carbonated. Uh, they're both actually. Then... Here you go. What about me? Huh? But uh, you're a cat. <laughs> Have you calmed down, Lady On? Um, Morgana, right? I really am talking to a cat. <sighs> this feels so strange. Oh, sorry. You're not a cat, right? It's only natural that you're confused. Demanding that you understand all of this right after what you went through is asking too much. Honestly? I still can't believe what happened. And that power. 
My persona? It's the will of your rebellion, Lady An. With it, you'll be able to fight in that other world. So if what you told me is true, we can make Kamoshida have a change of heart, right? Is it really possible? Can we actually force him to confess his crimes? The volleyball team's keeping quiet about this while teachers and parents turn a blind eye. If guys like us try and complain, they're just gonna shoot us down. Going all in on this plan is the only choice we got. Then let me help too. I want to make him pay for what happened to Shiho. He just keeps going like nothing happened, even after what he did to her. I'll never forgive him. Wait, did you just say, let me help? You mean you want us to take you along? Don't act like I'm going to drag you down. Weren't you watching? I can fight too. Hey, what should we do? I agree as well. We are lacking in manpower after all. Don't worry, I'll protect her. Even if you said no, I'd just go in alone. Ah, right, she can go by herself. I guess it'd be more dangerous turning her down. Ah, fine. Then it's decided. Well, <laughs> I hope we get along. I'm going to make Kamoshida atone for what he did. Not just for Shiho's sake, but for everything he's done. I won't let any more people suffer because of him. I'll do whatever it takes. A group like yours must have relied on subtlety and misdirection. Otherwise, you'd never survive. Some of you might even have been hiding behind a public face their entire lives. If you're listening, then answer me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the lover's persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Just let me know when you're heading back in. Oh, wait. We don't have each other's info. Hey, give me your number and chat ID. And, um... I'll be counting on you then. Same goes for you, Morgana. The pleasure is all mine, Lady On. What a kind girl. Such admirable consideration for others. And the innocence to cast herself into the jaws of death to achieve her goal. She cares about her friends, and she's beautiful to boot. What a girl. She's captured my heart. Dude. You know, it'd be better if this group could get together quick from now on. True. Our best option would be to make a secret hideout where we could discuss these things. A hideout, huh? I like the sound of that. The school rooftop would work. It seems like nobody goes up there. For the time being, that will make the perfect hideout. I can't contact you from inside a palace, so I'll stay in this world. That being said, I'll need someone to take care of me. I'm personally nominating you. You should feel honored. This is all you. There's no way I can at my place. The train will be arriving well, soon. Well, we now have our hideout, so let's meet there tomorrow. Okay, let's go look at my new residence for this world. Stay upstairs while we're open for business. Yes? Sorry if he was rude, Doctor. I don't mind. Thanks. I'll see you later. Come back again. <laughs> That's it for today. 
Oh, that customer just now? She's the head doctor over at that clinic down the street. Rumor has it she gives pretty crappy examinations and sells some weird homemade medicines on top of that. At least, that's what I've heard. I haven't been there myself. They should really just leave her alone. It's not like she's getting in the way of their lives. Hey, are we there yet? <sighs> well, I gotta get home and start making dinner. Place. Is this some kind of abandoned house? Hey, are you? I was wondering why I heard meowing. What did you bring it here for? Nowhere, huh? Look, this place is a restaurant. Animals are a no-go. Though, I guess you might stay on good behavior if you've got a pet to take care of. Fine, but keep it quiet when we're open for business. And don't let it roam downstairs, or I'll toss it out. Oh, and I'm not going to take care of it. That's all on you. Was that the ruler of this place? He seemed pretty understanding for someone who keeps you cramped up in this dump. Then again, I suppose to normal people I just sound like a meowing cat. Seriously, I had to keep calling out in that cute little voice. Make sure you wash that dish. By the way, uh, have you decided on a name? Morgana? Huh, I was hoping I'd get to name it. Looks like the Chief likes me better than you. And to be honest, this place is heaven compared to Kamoshida's cells. Remember how you guys asked me before about what I am? To be honest, I don't remember anything about my birth. I think the metaverse's distortions made me lose both my memories and my true form. It has to be. I mean, why else would a cat be able to talk like this? There's no other possible explanation. There's no doubt that the distortions were what caused me to lose my real self. I'm sure that once they're purged, I'll finally be able to get that self back. And I have a pretty good idea on how to do it, too. That's why I was in the castle in the first place. Come to think of it, I didn't get hungry over in that world. Let me make myself clear. Your taking care of me won't be for nothing. It'll be give and take, due to my knowledgeable and dexterous nature. I have a lot of intel on infiltration tools. Whoa. I can't tell you more unless we settle on a deal. In exchange for you keeping me here, I'll teach you about these tools. How does that sound? I like that answer. <laughs> then it's a deal. Skillful infiltrations and escapes to all manner of places. There's even the possibility that you use special tools and had someone who manufactured them. Answer me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Magician Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. I'll lecture you about the infiltration tools over time. By the way, the power you used in the palace was seriously amazing. The stronger that power gets, the more reliable it'll be as a trump card. All right, I'm gonna stick with you wherever you go from today on. 
Personas are the strengths born from one's heart. Depending on what kind of life experience you gain, I bet it'll affect that power as well. And if you become acquainted with capable people, you might learn various useful skills too. This is all part of our deal. Got it? I expect great things from you. Don't let me down, okay? You guys send messages to each other with that thing, right? I want in too, so I'm gonna have to ask you to type for me. Are you listening? Pay attention! <sighs> Looks like we're all here. Okay, let's get going. Hold on, it's still too early for us to head to the palace. But why? Don't we just gotta steal that treasure thing? Don't underestimate the dangers of that place. We need to prepare. Ain't that persona shit we got enough to deal with it? That's exactly what I mean when I say don't underestimate it. You'll die if you mess up in there. So again, we need to prepare before we head in. But how exactly are we supposed to do that? I'm glad you asked, Lady On. First, we'll need to find better equipment for all of you. You talking about weapons? Oh, I know a kick-ass place. In that case, you can handle that side of things. The only other thing would be stocking up on medicine. Fatigue is unavoidable in a palace. And where can we get medicine? Don't worry, I know just the place. I hope you look forward to it, Lady On. Now then, he and I have some business in Yongen, so let's head off for today. Just come with me. I won't be able to get close enough by myself. This is the clinic that the chief mentioned. Now, how can we get them to give us some medicine? How do you expect normal people to understand what a palace is? This is... Well, I guess that's the only choice we have. We'll just have to go for it. All right, let's step inside. Well...
please head to the exam room. In a case like yours, it's usually just due to stress. I'm gonna prescribe you some pain relievers, okay? Actually, I still need to restock those. So let's go with sleeping pills instead. Sleep is the best medicine anyway. Which type of pill do you want? A sweet tasting one or a bitter one? Is that right? And I bet you think you should have a year long supply of them too. You're not sick at all, are you? I'm not as dumb as I look, you know. I'm guessing you're here because you heard the rumors about me, hmm? You're one of those patients with an ulterior motive, huh? What's the world coming to? I guess high school kids have it tough nowadays too, huh? Well, fine. I'll prescribe you some medication. But only medication that will help you recover your health. I guess it's fine. You seem pretty earnest, and you don't look like you'll be any trouble. This is my private practice. All the medicine I dispense is original. I have a license to make my own formulas. You've likely seen them being sold at various hospitals. It's your responsibility to take care of yourself. So, if that's okay with you, stop by any time. I just believe in providing my patients with quick and easy medical examinations. You're a pretty weird kid, you know? I wonder what you're going to use the medicine for. Well, as long as you don't cause me any trouble, it's not my problem. Okay, which one? You want that one? Thanks. That should work. Here you go. Take care. Be able to well, we can leave that for tomorrow. Let's go home. Apparently that subway driver from the accident was acting really odd during his testimony hearing. You talking about that psychotic whatever thing people are going on about? Yeah, I heard it completely alters your personality. The news is saying the driver couldn't even speak when they tried asking him questions. Only an idiot would believe a preposterous story like that. Oh, I'm sorry, but we're closing soon. <laughs> How rude. This must be why you don't get many customers. Your coffee's actually not half bad. The beans must be lamenting the sorry state of this store. Thanks for stopping in. Please come again. <laughs> I'm only trying to help you fix your business. Thanks for the coffee, at least. 
Jeez, what a pain. Oh, what do you want? If you're bored, go wash some dishes or something. Shut it. It's all good as long as the shop doesn't fail. I'm not gonna go wearing a fake smile. Who knows? Maybe I'll end up living out on the streets. As long as I'm here, the world leaves me be. No annoyances or troublesome people to deal with. It's like my own personal hideaway. I'd be kind of screwed if I lost it. But I guess you would be too. So you better at least try and be useful around here. Anyway, I'm leaving now. Don't cause any trouble. We're just about ready to go to the palace. We just need to assemble some infiltration tools. Clean off that desk back there so we can... That desk. Hurry now and clean it up. Great. Now you can make things whenever you want. I'll provide the materials this time. Try making a lockpick. Don't think too hard about it. You'll get the hang of it. Everyone starts off a little clumsy. Don't be sad if it doesn't go well at first, okay? Great. We should be able to use this. Yeah. We should be ready now. We're heading into the palace tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Good morning. Come on, hurry up and get to class. Good morning. That admirable behavior won't do you any good once you're expelled. Well, that wraps up the homeroom period. <clears throat> A word with you, please? There's something I'd like to ask you. It won't take long. I see you're already getting on top of the problem I'd mentioned this morning, Miss Kawakami. I appreciate the support. Thank you again. Oh, you know this guy, Yoshizawa? Yes. He lent me a helping hand earlier. I recommend you steer clear of the likes of him if you have any consideration for your future. Remember the discussion we just had? There are a number of students in this school you shouldn't get involved with. This one's at the top of the list. Oh! The delinquent transfer student? Sorry to interrupt, but I need to use the guidance office. Oh, pardon me. We should be going, too. Don't want to get in the way of guiding this delinquent and all. Please excuse us. <sighs> After you. I'm gonna get straight to the point. Did something happen between you and Mr. Kamoshida? Well, there was that little exchange just now, but... That's not all. He gave me a brief lecture this morning, and your name came up. Something about the dangers of a lack of supervision. I don't mean to pry, but just make sure you don't go causing trouble, okay? Oh, and one more thing. That girl outside the office? You didn't make a pass at her, did you? Uh-huh. Mr. Kamoshida has a real close eye on you. Apparently, you've been getting involved with Sakamoto-kun. You seem acquainted with Yoshizawa-san as well. Maybe you're just naturally drawn to athletes? Sorry, bad joke. That's all I wanted to discuss. You're free to go.
hope you all understand that our time limit is May 2nd. We basically just have to go to that castle and steal the treasure from Kamoshida, right? But wait, what even is a treasure? I want to know that before we do anything. A treasure is the physical form of the palace ruler's distorted desires. In other words, it's the core of the palace. Once we steal it, the palace will crumble. I think. Having said all that, even I don't know what Kamoshida's treasure is going to be. And where can we find it? There's no way of knowing that until we go in and find out. But if I had to guess, I'd say he has it locked up somewhere in the depths of the palace. I think I get it now. We just gotta find the treasure, yeah? Pretty much. There's just a lot we won't know until we go in. In any case, our objective is to find the treasure's location somewhere in the palace. Make sure we go about this with time to spare so we can avoid any unforeseen circumstances. I expect great things from you guys. Okay, let's go. But damn. Hmm? What's up? Nothing. I, I was just thinking we should choose a code name for you too. A code name? I'm Skull, he's Joker, and that's Mona. Judging by your costume. I mean, she's got that tail and stuff, so... What do you think? Wait! Is that what you're going to call me from now on? I am so not down with this! What do you want to be called then? Um, something better than just a little cat. Maybe... Panther? That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Huh? Why? Cause it sounds more... ferocious? She's a cougar. Don't call me that! More importantly, Kamoshida. Oh, right. Let's go. Alright, let's start fresh and get going. It's game time from this point forward. I'll teach you guys the basics of infiltrating a palace as we go. My master would like a word with you. The prisoner has returned. Well done. It seems you have remembered my words. You truly make it worth rehabilitating you. Shut your mouth and listen, inmate! <laughs> I am not attempting to withhold information from you. The essence of the rehabilitation that you must complete will be explained in due time. Once you encounter allies who share your ideals and discover your place in reality, only then will I explain it all. Such a day should not be far off. This time, I wish to introduce you to the aid we are providing. Due to your potential in wielding the power of the wild card, you can handle more than one persona. That power holds infinite possibilities. We will assist you in nurturing that potential. To that end, we must execute your persona. <laughs> Do not be alarmed. Personas are personalities that exist within you. Thus, you will only be discarding old personalities to have them be reborn as new ones. By discarding your old identity, you give way to a new one. Hence, we call that process execution. Think of it as the fusion of your personas. To start, select the first persona you wish to fuse. Now, before you select the second persona, allow me to tell you something greatly important. Do you remember how I mentioned forming bonds with confidants? 
Personas are the power of the heart. The stronger those bonds, the stronger your personas will be. In other words, the effects of your bonds on execution, or fusion, if you will, are quite substantial. When you fuse a persona that shares its arcana with one of your bonds, it will gain great power. This will be a guiding principle for your forays into fusion. Try not to forget it. Moreover, there is one thing I must warn you about. You cannot create a persona that surpasses your current level. This is because the resulting persona would be too powerful for you to handle effectively. Now then, check the fusion results and choose a persona that suits your stature. This is the form. You're it's possible for them to inherit skills they normally wouldn't gain. These skills and specialties are distinct from one another. Skills are traits that can be passed along through fusion. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Its power will be nothing unusual. Girls, let us begin. A stronger persona has been born from the body and blood of the old. It shall be your new strength. Its worth will be made clearer when you return to the field of battle. Gather personas and bring them here. Gather a great many, execute them, and continue to give birth to even stronger personas. Developing your powers as such will play an integral role in the stand against Ruin. So that your rehabilitation goes well, we have a variety of rituals to choose in regard to executions. And depending on the effort you put in, our master might consider further development of new rituals. Cry your tears of joy, inmate. Your heart is steadily gaining the strength of rebellion. It seems your rehabilitation is proceeding smoothly. A joyous fact indeed. In anticipation of this, I have prepared a gift for you. I hope that you shall accept it. All right. That is a thief's skill, allowing one to tap into their sixth sense and see what is hidden in the dark. I believe you can handle it now. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. Now then, if you have any requests, we will heed them. It is time, inmate. Something wrong? You were just standing around all of a sudden. Why are you spacing out like that? It's kind of hard to tell what you're thinking sometimes. Let's just say he's a man of high caliber. We're counting on you, Joker! So, where do we start? Let's head to the safe room we found last time. It's in the first floor of the West Building. That's pretty close to our usual entrance. It should be a pretty decent starting point. Safe room? It'll make sense when you see it. Well, let's head out.
I don't think we're going any further this way. Should we check somewhere else? Wait, look up there. What about it? Are we throwing a rope over that and climbing it? Phantom thieves do things a bit more stylishly than that, and I know just what'll do the trick. Like it fits properly. That's just a little something I've been working on in secret. The grappling hook lets you zip to hard to reach locations in a flash. You'll see what I'm talking about when you test it out. Go ahead, give it a try. Okay. work. Keep it up. <sighs> well then. Is this... Uh... Joker. Hey. Is this room? There are tons of pictures of Suzui in here. 
Wait, it's all pics of her? <sighs> yeah, definitely. I feel even more motivated to do this now. I'm sure it'll feel awful, but we should search this room. There has to be something in here if he was hiding it with such an elaborate trick. Is this... a metal? Remember that round indentation we saw back near those bars? Wait, there's something under the metal, too. It's a different map from the one we have. This is lucky. Let's take it with us. Aha! Our map's complete now! So is it gonna tell us where the treasure is? Yeah, look. It has to be here. That's a weird-shaped building. Could it be a tower or something? Considering our current position, I'd say we're about halfway there. All right, let's hurry over there. No. Now that we know how much we have left, we can calculate the best way to pace ourselves. Let's keep exploring, but take breaks when you need to, Joker. Itself, but it's not making any moves. Be careful. If my prediction is correct, that one's a bit problematic for us. All right, then I'll go take care of it. Just be careful. Yeah. 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 Whoa, what the hell? It started moving after we attacked it. Looks like it's exactly what I expected. Once we take it down... Hey, you two, watch this! What the... it exploded? I'll explain later. Focus on the battle for now. like from earlier. Haphazard attacks on it will only make things tougher for us. It's probably best to take it down fast by striking its weakness and getting it to blow up. Alternately, we could put it to sleep or make it unable to move, then just deal with it later. Pretty shady. Joker.
This room seems different from everywhere else we've seen so far. Yeah. And there's something super suspicious over there. That's... Come on, follow me! What is this? Just what I thought. A will seed. Palaces are locations that grew distorted from their original forms due to their ruler's cognitions. When such distortions coalesce into form, this is the result. I call it a will seed. Distortions coalesce into will seeds? Should I try explaining that again? Uh, just forget it. That's a will seed. Moving on. So, what do we do with it? We take it. It may not be as prized as a treasure, but it's still quite the rare find. Making it ours will only do us good. I think. Um, is it really okay to take it? Nothing shitty better happen when you take it. Like, some trap going off, or we all end up cursed. Nice. The will seat is ours. I guess... Nothing happened? There are more of these around here somewhere. As far as I can tell, there are two of them left. Huh? How can you tell? You smell them or something? Yeah, like how dogs can... Oh, but you're a cat. I am not a cat! I just seem like a cat. Strong shadow ahead. We should be careful.
What is this place? Holy shit! That treasure thing's gotta be in here. Hey, what is this? It's floating in the air. <laughs> That's the treasure. We finally found it. Just hold on a second. I was planning on telling you more once we made it this far. Simply finding the treasure isn't enough. We'll need to make it materialize before we can steal it. What do you mean? Desires have no physical form by nature. Hence, we'll first need to make the real person aware that their desires are in fact a treasure. Once they're conscious that their desires might be stolen, the treasure will finally show itself. But how do we do that? We warn them. Tell them, we are going to steal your heart. So we're gonna send a calling card? Oh, that's totally what a phantom thief would do! Once we do that, the treasure will appear for certain. Uh, I think. That again? Either way, sounds like it's worth giving it a shot. Our infiltration route is secure. All that's left now is to pump out a calling card in reality, then come back to take the treasure. This is it, huh? Damn right! Once we send out the calling card, there will be no turning back. Just let me know when you're ready. We'll head back to the hideout and send out that calling card. Well then. Hey! All right. All that's left now is to send out the calling card and take Kamoshida's heart. Couldn't we have just sent one at the beginning of all this? It's not that simple. A treasure won't stay materialized forever. Once the impression is gone, the treasure will disappear. I think it'll last around a day at most. The hell? That's like no time at all. Anyways, we can send a calling card right now, yeah? Let's do it and steal that bastard's heart. Now then. I've been waiting to hear you say that. Tomorrow's finally the day. So we send the calling card in the morning, and carry out the plan by the end of the day, right? Correct. The effect won't last that long. Are you worried? <laughs> Waited too long. Perfect. We're going to pull this off no matter what. So, who's going to write the card? Leave it to me! Why? Why? Why wouldn't it be me? This is important. Are you sure you can handle the pressure? I must agree. I really want to get him good. Let me write it. Uh, come on, please. Yeah, I got this. Hey, are you sure about this? If they find out our identities, all this work will be for nothing. I know, I know. All right then. Tomorrow it is. You better not slack off on this. Hey. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
sorry. That should do it for now. calling card I heard it was already posted by the time everyone got here this morning Sir Suguru Kamoshida the utter bastard of lust we know how shitty you are and that you put your twisted desires on students that can't fight back that's why we have decided to steal away those desires and make you confess your sins this will be done tomorrow so we hope you will be ready from the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Wow. Not bad, huh? I looked up a bunch of similar stuff online for reference. Um, yeah. I know what you wanted to say, but it sounded like an idiot trying to be an adult. Your logo's a little lacking, too. Okay, you know what? That ain't true. Did Mr. Kamashita do something wrong? Does this mean the rumors are true? Wait a sec. Is someone gonna take something from Mr. Kamashita? What's with this weird logo? And who are these Phantom Thieves of Hearts people? It got everyone excited, so it's all good, yeah? Who's responsible for this? Look at that. A predictable reaction for someone who knows what we mean by distorted desires. I think it's hitting him pretty hard. Did you do this? Or was it you? Was it you two? So you're playing dumb? <laughs> it's not a problem. You'll be expelled soon enough anyway. Come. Steal it if you can. Judging from Kamoshida's response, I'm sure we had an effect on his palace. Does that mean the treasure's appeared? We'll be able to get it today, right? It's not just today. It's only today. The impact of seeing a calling card doesn't last long. And it cannot be repeated. This will be our one chance to steal the treasure. One day's more than enough for us.
think? It's just as I said. Now we can steal it. Oh, the shine brings tears to my eyes. It kind of pisses me off. Why is it so pretty? Isn't this Kamoshida's desires? T treasure Uh, the cat's acting awfully excited. What's wrong? Is something... That's enough, you stupid cat. <clears throat> oh, um, yeah. Uh, forgive me for displaying such an insolent sight in front of a lady. You were completely out of character, too. What was that about? I couldn't stop it either. To think I'd be drawn to human desires this much. <gasps> Doesn't that prove that I'm human? How should we know? Uh, anyway. You guys need to carry it! All you do is bark orders. Still, that was easier than I thought. I thought for sure there'd be some insane trap or something. This palace will disappear if we take this back, right? And Kamoshida will change, too. That should be the case. Good. Now's our chance, then. It's heavy. To think it'd go so well. I've even found three Persona users in the process. My judgment was correct. I made the right choice in making a deal with you. <laughs> All right. Go, go, let's go, come, Moshida! <laughs> I won't let anyone take this. This proves that I am the king of this castle. It is the core of this world. That rat bastard. That's how he sees me, isn't it? Yo, pervert! Were you waiting to ambush us? I just made it easier to find you. I'll dispose of you myself. Right here, right now. That's our line, you sexually harassing D-bag! What a selfish misunderstanding. How is it a misunderstanding? You were doing things that you kept in secret from others! People around me were the ones who kept it secret. Adults who want to share in my accomplishments. Students who have the drive to become winners. They willingly protect me, so that we all may profit from it. Profit? There are too many imbeciles who don't understand that. Including naive brats like you and that girl who tried to kill herself. True, she's a total idiot. Letting you manipulate her, trying to commit suicide. I'm even more of a dumbass for not realizing that. But no matter what kind of fool someone might be, they don't need your permission to live their lives! Drop the attitude, you mediocre peasant. There is no wrong in using my gifts for my gain. I'm a cut above all other humans. Above? You mean beneath? You're a goddamn demon obsessed with your sick desires! <laughs> That's right. I'm not like you. I am a demon who rules this world! What the hell? Persona! Take 
on Kamoshida himself. Everyone, let's do this! We should check it to finish. Let's go. Kanagi no Okami Pinkro! Using this! as a condescending hotshot, but right now, you're just a pathetic loser. We came all this way to steal that. Will you just give it up and hand it over? Silence! I will let the likes of you have this! You still have the energy to say things like that? Then we're going to up our game as well! Let's go! version of him. It's not the real Mishima. It feels like he's gonna attack. Come. Keep your guard up. Kiss it. Suzui, too. You've got too far, you piece of shit. Ah, I get it. You want to see my kill shot again, you know, too. Sona, there. 
Don't get anywhere with brute force. What do we do? I see. In that case, time for plan B. Look over at that terrace. While the others are drawing Kamoshida's attention, have someone go there. Let's steal the treasure without him noticing. Susana! by attacking him. Yup. Attack Kamoshida! Uh. Keep him busy! All right. What the persona? Here we go! I won't kill you! Persona! Kamoshida! Keep him busy! You just strike me! We gotta do a lot more damage than this. Thanks! Persona! I want to laugh! Come! Attack You're mine! Keep it busy! Keep it up! Persona! Not to distract How about this? Sorry! I want to laugh! Persona! Keep him busy! All right. Almost Persona. there! Give him one more good strike! This'll do! Persona! It's all going as planned. Time to use this opportunity to take the treasure. Than this. How about this? Thanks! One of them persona! There! 
Noticed a thing here. Good. Just a little more to the treasure. I want to Attack Persona! On the Keep him busy! It's not Persona! enough. We gotta do a lot more damage than this. Alright! Swarm of Persona! You just strike me! Let's Attack go. Kamoshida. Not running away. Why don't you run? Aren't you a great athlete? It's always been like this. All those goddamn hyenas forcing their expectations on me. I'm doing this all for them. What's wrong about demanding a reward for that? Now you're making excuses? We'll do something about that distorted heart of yours. <laughs> Scared? Right now, you're seeing the same view that Shiho did. I'm sure she was scared too. Except she had no choice but to jump. What will you do? Will you jump? Or would you rather die here? <laughs> do you want to finish him off? It's your call. No, please wait. I beg you. Just forgive me! Shut up. I bet everyone told you the same. But you... You took everything from us! No! I... I accept defeat. You want this? Take it. Go ahead and finish me off. You do that, and my real self will go down too. You have that right, since you've won. <laughs> On! If his mind shuts down, he can't admit his crimes. You're kind, Lady On. I've lost. You're through when you lose. What am I? What am I supposed to do now? Turn to my real self. I'll make sense. Whoa! Hey, just so you know, we don't have time to wait. This place is about to collapse.
that sucked. <sighs> Look at the nav. The destination has been deleted. It's true. We can't go there anymore. What about the treasure? What the? A medal? Wait, where'd that crown go? What's going on? It means that was the source of Kamoshida's desires. To him, this medal is worth as much as that crown we saw in the palace. An Olympic medal. So, that perv kept clinging to his past glory and couldn't let it go. But... This means that Kamoshida's heart might have changed, right? Probably. Our expulsion's on the line here! This is the first successful example for me, too. However, there's no doubt that this has affected Kamoshida's personality quite a lot. The entire palace disappeared, after all. Uh, I feel all antsy. Ain't there a way to check now? Right. Come on, why the gloomy faces? Be happy! We completed this with great success, you know. We just don't know if everything's okay yet. I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. Remember how Kamoshida's shadow said that he's returning to his self in reality? We all know Suguru Kamoshida is scum. Still, he did seem to regain his conscience somewhat before he disappeared. There are definitely those who have been saved thanks to what you've done. Yeah. Anyways, I guess we gotta wait. It all boils down to what's gonna happen to Kamoshida. Or if we're getting expelled for real. Yeah. Let's go. <sighs> this is no good. Sudden morning assembly. Oh, I bet it's about that girl that jumped the other day. They don't have to tell us not to commit suicide. There was that weird calling card too, so I guess the teachers are freaking out. We're lucky that morning practice got canceled though. I feel like I'm gonna faint if this takes forever. <sighs> Let's begin this school-wide morning assembly. As you all know, a tragic event took place the other day. Thankfully, we have been informed that she has pulled through, but it will take time until she recovers. Everyone here has a bright future ahead. I implore that you rethink the importance of life and... <laughs> Mr. Kamashita, what's the... I... have been reborn. That is why... I will confess everything to you all. Huh? What's wrong with Mr. Kamoshida? What's this about? Confess? Did the volleyball team do something? I have repeatedly done things that were unbecoming of a teacher. Verbally abusing students, physically abusing my team, and sexually harassing female students. I am the reason why Shiho Suzui tried to kill herself. Sexual harassment? What? Why would he oh, say that uh, himself? He is the so worst. Really? Physical abuse? I thought of the school as my own castle. There were even students that I sentenced to expulsion simply because I didn't like them. I will, of course, rescind those. I am truly sorry for putting innocent youths through such horrible acts. I am an arrogant, shallow, and shameful person. No, I'm worse than that. I will take responsibility. I kill myself for it. What did 
he just say that? Would kill himself? Mr. Kamoshida is, uh, not well. Mr. Kamoshida, please get off the stage for now. Everyone, return to your classes. <laughs> I... Don't run, you bastard! Shiho's still alive, even after all the things that made her want to die. You have no right to run from this! You're right. You're absolutely right. I should be punished under the law and atone for my crimes. I did horrible things to Takamaki-san as well. In return for giving Suzui-san a position on the team, I... I tried to force her into having relations. Disgusting. Ugh. For a position on the team? I feel so That's bad horrible. So the rumors son. weren't true. As of today, I will resign from my position as an instructor and turn myself in. <laughs> Someone please call the police! The police? Is he for real? He's gonna get wow. arrested? This morning's assembly is over! Return to your classes immediately! Isn't this just like what that calling card said? Does this mean the Phantom Thieves thing was for real? Was something done to Kamoshida? Come on, there's no way you could steal someone's heart. But why else would he start saying things like he'll kill himself or turn himself in? Maybe because it almost got leaked? Don't they go easier on you if you turn yourself in? I wonder what happened. Who knows? <laughs> but man, Kamoshida turned out to be one sick bastard. Hey, is this for real? He's turning himself in just like that? What's going to this happen to the ball? Think to will show up this now? is gonna be a big Return surprise. to your classrooms at once! His heart really did change. Seems like it. But was this really for the best? Yeah, it's gotta be. But things are happening way too fast. Huh? What the... Takamaki-san, I'm sorry. Huh? We all knew, but we pretended we didn't. Takamaki-san, I had you all wrong. I'm sorry that I spread rumors about you. I didn't know at all. Oh, Kamashita was forcefully pushing himself on you. It must have been so hard for you. I'm sure there's a ton of people who want to apologize to you. We're so sorry. No, it's okay. The same goes for me, too. Besides, that's all in the past now. Hey, you there! Return to class at once! Well, see you later then. I can't apologize enough for what I did to you. I swear I'll make it up to you someday. Looks like Kamoshida ain't the only one that had a change of heart. Man, I'm glad for you. Looks like those weird rumors are gonna go away. My thing doesn't really matter. We made Kamoshida apologize about Shiho. That's more than enough for me. You should hurry and tell her about it then. Yeah. I totally freaked out. He really did have a change of heart. And we were lucky his mind didn't get messed up either. <laughs> this was an A-plus job. Does this mean that they won't have a mental shutdown even if their palace disappears? I see. So we need to persuade the shadow without killing it, and then send it back to its real self. Our targets won't undergo a cognitive collapse if we do that. So we can get him to confess with no bad stuff? Hey, that works for me. Do you have to be so loud? Eh, don't worry about it. So, how'd it go? With Shiho, I mean. She's regained consciousness. For real? It was only for a little bit, but I got to talk to her. I was able to tell her that Kamoshida admitted to what he did. Shiho, she... She told me she was sorry, 
Looks like she found out that I was flirting with Kamoshida for her sake. And here I was, wanting to apologize to her. Kamoshida's at fault for all this. I know. Shiho's mom is thinking of transferring her to another school after she recovers. The whole sexual harassment and attempted suicide... People will label her after that. Sounded like Shiho had the same idea, too. Ah, it's gonna get lonely. But I think it's for the best. I'm sure it'll be hard if she stays here. She's alive. You can see her anytime. I need to change, too. That aside, I was surprised you could hold yourself back against Kamoshida's shadow. It wasn't like that. I just wanted Kamoshida to apologize himself. You're so kind, Lady An. No matter how much of a shitbag he was, finishing him off would have left a bad aftertaste, huh? Huh? <laughs> That's not it. I think revenge is better served if I make him repent. Realizing what he's done, he'll grovel for forgiveness the rest of his life. You know? I just believe there are fates worse than death. Holy shit. Uh, anyways, that's all settled. But, you know, there was one more thing I was wondering about that castle. Why was Kamoshida the only one who had that metaverse thing? It isn't necessarily limited to him. It's something anyone could have, if their heart became warped from their desires. Anyone? Wanna check it out? N not right now. We better lay low for a while. People are still gonna be talking about Kamoshida. Then again... It's totally impossible for someone to find out what we did at his palace. Yeah, about that, weird rumors about you guys are already going around. Stuff like you got together and threatened Kamoshida with something close to physical violence. The hell? People aren't going to easily believe that phantom thieves really exist. The calling card's being treated like it was a prank by someone who knew what Kamoshida was doing. Hmm, makes sense. We're the ones who did it, and I still don't completely believe it myself. <laughs> let's wait for things to settle down for the time being. Anyways, let's check how much this metal can be sold for. It'd be better if we pawned it off ASAP. Ooh, got a hit! Wait, 30,000 yen? That's all a gold medal's worth? Remember that time in middle school? I lent you some money. There's no way I borrowed 30,000 yen from you. Wouldn't it be around that much with compounded interest? Interest my ass? I'm not saying that I'm taking all of it. I mean, it's your fault for not paying me back all these years. It's just common sense. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I agree on laying low and keeping an eye on the situation. However, you dragged me into this. It would be nonsense not to celebrate a successful mission. I guess we could blow this dirty money on something fun. Discussions among phantom thieves are to take place over luxurious food. How about it? Hey, wait! Nah, uh, I guess it's fine. There's somewhere I want to go then. Where's that? It's a place Shiho and I have been wanting to go for a while. I owe money, so I can't complain. You good with that? We can eat something like that whenever we want. I'll leave it to your discretion as well, Lady On. I'll call and check the prices later then. When should we go? Want to do it soon, like tomorrow? Why don't we go on the last day of the holidays? It'll help energize us when school life starts up again the day after. Then, uh, the 5th, on Children's Day. So, who's going to sell this? Leave that to us. We know a store that'll buy anything, don't we? Okay, I'll leave that to you guys. Ah, you're back. No, that's the real me- Depending on how you look at it, that punishment might be even worse than death for him.
Make sure you close up. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of pressured you into doing this. And now to our next topic, Fall from Grace, the story of a dishonored Olympic medalist. Just recently, a high school coach confessed at an assembly that he had been repeatedly abusing students. Given his prior Olympic achievements, this has caused quite a stir. What caused this habitual offender to suddenly confess these heinous crimes to his entire school? The police are hoping that the upcoming interrogations will bring light to this question. Isn't this... My friends would come back from practice with bruises all the time. It was scary. But I'm relieved that the abuse is finally going to end now. He would touch me and stuff all the time. I'm glad I don't have to deal with that sexual harassment anymore. There were always rumors, sure. Not many people believed them, though. Like, I'm totally shocked they were actually true. At least now I can go to school without worrying. I knew it. This is your school, isn't it? <sighs> Things might be getting turbulent at school, but you need to just keep your head down, all right? More importantly, keep those hands moving. I've got some more stuff I need you to do. Okay. Make sure to do the dishes. Quit your whining. Don't get cocky with me. Welcome. Am I interrupting something? Not at all. 
The cause of the runaway train incident in the subway the other day still has not been found. Police are hurrying to solve the matter as it may relate to the rise in psychotic breakdown incidents. Oh, is that the thing everyone's been talking about? Doesn't it make you curious? People who were living normal lives suddenly went mad or deranged out of the blue. Not to mention that it's happening one after another. Could they really be coincidental? Hmm. Leaving that aside, what do you have? Hmm. I'll have the house blend, please. Are you a part-timer? I'm surprised this place can afford one. Uh, what, no. <laughs> not exactly. Are you a high school student? Where do you attend? Oh, someone I know goes there as well. I've heard that things are rough right now. A teacher named Kamoshida confessed his crimes like he was a completely different person, supposedly. And it happened all of a sudden one day. Can a person's mental state change so easily? Huh. <sighs> Is my drink ready yet? Coming right up. Today's the day we turn in that metal for cash. You know someplace that'll buy it off you, right?
See ya. What were those detectives doing there? More importantly, aren't you curious about what's in the bag? There's no harm in a little peek. Come on, let's open it up. A real gun? Wait, I think it's just a model. It's incredible, though. Miles ahead of the one Ryuji had. There's something weird about that place. Hey, I just had a great idea. We should totally buy this gun from him later. I mean, it's perfect. Something this real looking would work wonders in the metaverse. Anyway, he told you to bring it back the next time you came, right? You should try striking a deal with him when we go to return it. restaurant of Lady Anne's choosing. Finally, a decent meal. Hey, what do you think we're gonna be eating? Ooh, tuna, sea urchin, and maybe even salmon roe. In any case, I'm surely looking forward to it. Close up. Wow. <laughs> well, then. <laughs> so good. No wonder Lady Anne chose this place. Of course it's good. This is a famous hotel after all. Oh yeah, I heard that the police are coming to interview some people at school. That's troublesome. Our names are gonna come up for sure. People are spreading all sorts of rumors about us and Kamoshida. But we got them pumped up. I keep hearing stuff like, the Phantom Thieves really stole his heart. I think most people don't believe it, but some of them actually seem grateful. Look at this. The Phantom Aficionado website? Well done, Phantom Thieves. Now I can keep going too. Thank you for giving us hope. Pretty cool, huh? I was just desperate to deal with my own problems, but seeing people saying all this feels... strange. Yeah. Hey, what do we do now? Well, of course I'm gonna eat, but... <gasps> this place has a time limit! 
Oh crap! We only got an hour to eat! Just 50 minutes left. Oh, I'm not gonna finish all the beef dishes at this pace. I need to eat my way through the entire dessert menu! Look after our stuff. We'll snag something for you guys too, don't worry. Oh man, God melts in my mouth. Seriously? Only meat? Now where should I start? And she's all about the cake. So happy! <laughs> hey, calories. Shut up! How much do you think one of these costs? I'll never get the chance to do this again! Mmm, the Wilton Hotel Cake Buffet! I'd heard rumors, but I never thought it'd be so amazing! <laughs> and where's our share? I didn't really know what you'd want, so I just grabbed you some beans. B beans? There were some pretty bizarre things there, too, so we got you a variety of those. Fried bananas, preserved eggs, and some kind of beans. M more beans? We put so much on the plate that it got all mixed up. But it should probably still taste good. This is just plain grotesque. Let's go. These two just don't know what fine dining means. We'll show them. That's reassuring. You guys watch our things while we're gone. Wait patiently for our return. Mm. Oh, it's like a meaty explosion in my mouth. This part's cream cheese! They're not even listening. As I'd expect from the buffet at a top-class hotel, the ingredients and variety of dishes are crazy good. There's a reason it costs 8,000 yen. They have a lot here, but fish should come first. Let's fill our plate with all sorts of fish. Which table do you think they're at? Ooh, look! There's the fish! I'd prefer it raw, but grilled is great, too. Have you heard, my dear? The news about that Kamashita fellow was absolutely dreadful. Oh, right. That teacher at Shujin Academy? Caught doing such indecent acts. Shameful, really. Hold on a sec. And they still haven't managed to solve those horrible psychotic breakdown episodes, have they? Oh, I wish they wouldn't let themselves be distracted by such a tawdry scandal. Perhaps it's a sign of how peaceful this country is. I honestly pity those poor Shujin students, though. Hmm. It sounds like the Kamashita incident is the talk of the town. Hmm? Shoot! They noticed you! Just grab some food and act natural. On the plus side, we'll get to eat the food later. Oh. How did a child like this end up in here? I certainly hope he didn't bring friends. I prefer my meals to remain hooligan-free. Thank you very much. Come, let us go. What's so bad about kids coming to enjoy a buffet? Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. Maybe there are more people we can eavesdrop on at other tables. Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are... Oh, up close it looks even bigger and more delicious. This giant sweet... I got distracted. News travels quick. It's already all over the internet. You know, the story about how Kamashita got his ass kicked by some world-reforming heroes. It doesn't sound like a serious story to me. Some of the details are pretty far-fetched. Don't worry about it. We just have to do what they tell us to do. It's all rumors made up by school kids anyway. If it's gripping news, who cares if it's not true? So they don't believe themselves. But they're making up stories to make the Phantom Thieves seem real. And they're doing this in front of the actual Phantom Thieves. Hmm? Well, act fast and get some food! And make sure it's got a lot of whipped cream! What's wrong? Ah, uh, nothing. I thought some weird kid was looking at us, that's all. Why don't we go? It's almost time for the meeting. Well, that was rude. Did you hear him? He said you were weird. Hmm. 
I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. of every great meal. Sorry, I got a bit carried away there. So the ratings for the news were really that good? It was because it was about that teacher who sexually harassed his student, huh? Was it Kamoshida? It's all about how you frame it. You've got to cater to the idiotic public. Ratings go up when you show them crude, sensational news and make it easy for them to understand. How can he be so insensitive? A student almost killed herself because of that Kamoshida. By the way, do you think these sudden changes of heart might be real? Well, that's... Hmm? Quick, grab some food! Oh, and don't forget the crispy bits. So, because he had a sudden change of heart, he just confessed to all his crimes? <laughs> Who knows? Sorry, but it's time. I have to go. I'll call you again after the meeting. A sudden change of heart, huh? I suppose I can't blame him for seeing it that way. Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. but a meal is just not the same if you don't have any. I got distracted. When you really look at it, he's just an ex-athlete who overestimated himself. He should have just accepted his lot in life and quietly done his job as a teacher. It's not even an incident we can take seriously. The whole story is pretty ridiculous. We should probably look into it, but we can also just let the low-ranking scrubs handle it. Look into? I guess they're investigating Kamoshida? They don't sound very enthusiastic about it, though. Hmm? Gah! Grab some food! Ah, get the part that's not too fatty. He's gonna be arriving soon. We don't want to keep him waiting, so we better get going, too. What is he going to discuss with the higher-ups? Well, I'm sure it's more important than lunch. They were dressed quite well, but they still looked pretty shady to me. I don't think there's anyone else we can listen in on, but it's shocking. So many of the adults here don't seem like nice people. Now, according to what we heard, it seems most adults aren't very interested in the news about Kamoshida. Well, now that we've got a nice variety of food on our plates, let's head back to the others. Oh, you brought a ton back! What do you think about coming up against such ritzy food? It's cute hearing that from someone like you. It just don't get too excited, got it? You're the last person I want giving advice about that, Ryuji. Don't you think you're eating too much, Mona? Mm. There's no... knowing when we'll get to come here again. Sure, but you guys brought back loads of food. It'd be a shame to let it all go to waste. Why don't you help them out, Ryuji? Oh, we should both help. Oh, me? I'm way too stuffed. I couldn't possibly help. Yeah, stuffing your face with cake. Whatever, let's deal with this ourselves. There's still more? Don't give up. Let's keep at it. We... we did it. Oh, yeah. This is a victory for all of us. Oh, is your stomach the size of a freaking palace? Good job, you guys. How about one last dish to cleanse your palates? I recommend the seasonal tart. The grapefruit has both alluring sweetness and a tangy sourness. Uh, stop. I don't want to hear about sour stuff. Uh, this isn't good. I gotta go to the bathroom. Well, me too. Please carry me gently. 
My, look at that table. Come now, pay them no attention. I'm sure they must not normally have the chance to eat such exquisite food. I can only imagine what their parents must be like. What was that? <laughs> we don't got time for that. Come on, let's go. Ugh, I'm stuffed. I totally panicked when I saw the closed for cleaning sign at the bathrooms. You were talking big about eating until you puked, but you really did puke. Are you some kind of moron? Hey, same goes for you. What floor was that restaurant on? We came up to get here, so it has to be on a lower floor, right? What the? There's still no update on the case. Not yet. Excuse me, but why are you so involved? It's not something you should be concerned with. I don't care about your opinion, you incompetent buffoon. When I say pick up the pace, you do it! Hey, you're cutting in line! What do you want? We're in a hurry. Oh, I'm sorry. So you can butt in front of other people if you're in a hurry? It seems the customer base has changed since I was here last. Have they started a daycare? What? Sir, we don't have time for this. I know. Don't bother with them. What the hell was with that bossy guy? Shouldn't we head back down? Yeah, but... That dick really pissed me off. He wasn't even hiding the fact that he looks down on everyone. Don't lose your temper over this. I just can't forgive shitty adults like that. What's wrong? You not feeling good? He almost never eats well, after all. Plus, I'm always stuck eating canned cat food. Yeah, that sir bullshit makes me sick. Damn it! What took you so long? Why are you all pissy? Sorry. I had a run-in with some woman a second ago. She bumped into me, but then said it was all my fault when she dropped her plate. <sighs> Sounds like a real bitch. Yeah. Thanks, though. But... the restaurant workers all looked at me with this disapproving expression. I wonder if we're out of place here. Morgana. What is it? Anyone could have a palace, yeah? Anyone with a strong, distorted desire. Same for them having a change of heart if their treasure gets stolen? That would be the case. Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? We had trouble earlier, too. These selfish shitheads who just look down on everyone else. I was just wondering if we'd be able to change those kinds of people, too. You mean, you want to continue as the Phantom Thieves? I've been thinking. We put a lot of work into changing Kamoshida's heart, but nobody believes in the Phantom Thieves. Plus, those guys who had no other choice but to just deal with it are thanking us. Us, of all people! I... I agree. If we ignore people who are in trouble, I'd go back to being the same as I was before. Well, that's true. You're under my tutelage. There's nothing we can't accomplish as Phantom Thieves. Shouldn't we be able to help him out?
But that means we'll have to fight shadows again, doesn't it? Indeed. That can't be avoided. Eh, I'm sure we'll manage. <laughs> right? Even if you guys are still just fledglings, this means we're an actual organization now. Fledglings? <laughs> That's actually pretty fitting for us. All right, it's settled. We're gonna catch all these shitty adults by surprise and make ourselves known to the world. Are you okay being our leader? No objections here. I can't handle all that responsibility stuff. Where's my say in this? But Lady Ahn made the recommendation, so I'll allow it. Well, should we decide on a name for our group? I just went with Phantom Thieves of Hearts last time, but don't you think a real name would be cooler? Ooh, I got it. I want it to be something both cute and luxurious sounding. Let me see. How about the diamonds? <laughs> getting the real Little League Baseball feel from it. Well then, here's my suggestion. How about Tilefish Poilet? Tile... uh... what? That's what I ate earlier. It's commemorative, no? Oh no, you idiot! Uh, you decide for us. We going with that? Well, now that the name's set, who's our next target? There are tons of rotten adults and all. Why not just stick to targeting big names? Yeah, something along those lines. If we go after some bigwig, it's gotta get on the news, right? Don't you think more people would believe in us if we did that? That's not a bad idea. For you, Ryuji. True. If we become better known, we might be able to give courage to a lot more people. I don't really like the idea of just picking someone out of the blue, though. Let's narrow it down to someone we can all agree on, then. Hmm. So we need a big wig we decide on unanimously. I like that unanimous decision part. It's like we're making some kind of pact. Now then, this is the official formation of the Phantom Thieves organization. Oh no! Our time for the buffet ran out. I guess we'll just have to talk more tomorrow. Another world in which people's distorted cognitions take shape? Stealing treasure to change hearts? And on top of that, a talking cat told you all this. Honestly speaking, that all sounds absurd. It's hard to believe that this is even worth listening to. Still, it can't be considered nonsense when parts of it align with Kamoshida's confession. 
The same goes for the testimonies of the officers who arrested you. But so be it. At any rate, you mentioned something more important. These two other accomplices, besides this talking cat thing that appeared in your story. From what you've been telling me, they're students at the same school, aren't they? Perhaps? Don't take me for a fool. Very well, I'll leave it at that. Let's continue on. The questioning's not over anyway. If you are making this up, the cracks in your story will prove it. The next to receive a calling card was this individual, a master of Japanese arts, Ichiryusai Matarame. It's even more incomprehensible than Kamoshida as to why this man was targeted. Where did you come to know him? And how did you learn of his crimes when you weren't a victim of them? Start by telling me what you all schemed. <laughs> 